Ian TV, this is day five of cold lead client attraction. If you're watching this training, this is the last day of the five days. So if you are an entrepreneur who's struggling to get conversions from your own social media, you're out there slinging your stuff and you're trying, man. You're you're putting up posts, putting up videos. And you're like, no one's buying. Some of my friends are clicking or you're getting the odd sale. The reason I'm doing this training is to help you. I first want you to see, you know, I really admire that people are trying to sell from their personal social medias and not from their own niche-based Facebook groups. It's actually very difficult to sell from your social media. The, the best case scenario is obviously advertise on your own personal social media to drive them to your niche-based Facebook group where you then cultivate because you control the house. You cultivate the relationship deliver value, show them that you've served them faithfully 20, 30, 40, 100 times. Then when you go to sell them something and make an offering, you also know your audience because you've served them. You've interviewed them. You've done trainings for them. You get to know them. Your fingers on the pulse. Then when you make an offer, it's so much easier to sell. I just had uh, four, more people sign, four people sign up for Slingshot program in the last week, right? Because I built relationships and served. So people trust that I'm not fly by night. They've seen I've been consistent day in, day out for 21 months with the NTV. We're actually 21 months old today. I launched the group 21 months ago today. So yeah, ENTV. Um, but if you're out on social media and that's your primary way of collecting clients, is you're 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 in for a ride because you're competing with, I always say cat and dog videos, which I love. Favorite videos to watch, honestly. But you're also competing with people's busy schedule. You're asking them to stop scrolling, right? You're asking them to stop scrolling. So how do we get them to stop scrolling? We have to pattern interrupt them. How do we pattern interrupt them? Well, you got to take these five, five different days of training I've given you. This is straight from like Russell Brunson type stuff. This is the best I know based on what they teach. So Day one was understanding your client's pain point. Think of calling out, you have five to 10 seconds to call out your client's pain point. I did that in the very beginning of the training, saying you're an entrepreneur, they're sick and tired of not enough sales or warm leads in your business. You're not making enough money. You're not making the impact. You're you're starting to doubt your calling because you're like, I feel I'm supposed to do this. Why is no one buying or clicking? And it's frustrating. It feels lonely. It feels like, you can feel like you're failing in life. I've lived all of this. This is why we have to call out their, your ideal client's pain point. What is the thing that drives them and keeps them awake at night? What irritates them the most? You have to know your client. Day two is all about educating, providing value. This is where you help give them quick wins to, to turn the dial in their life, you know, to move the needle so that they right away recognize you as an authority in on the subject matter, right? So they start to trust you, pay attention. Number three was about creating curiosity and desire. By introducing your new thing, never improving something they've already seen and bringing in something brand new, which is why I do Catapult the way I do. We build Catapult groups for those wanting rapid niche-based Facebook group growth, 300 members to 500 a week guaranteed through my system, six-month high-ticket program. They join because we're doing things a different way. This is why Lori Phillips, who's four months old yesterday, 8,300, 8,400 members in her brand new niche based Facebook group, four months old, 16 clients on her first product launch. She only launched it to 30 to 40 people of the 8,400. Imagine what's going to happen next month when she actually launches it to all of them. How many clients she's going to get? Cal comment Catapult if you want to hear about that. And then Slingshot, and again, I'm showing you, think of your offer. Slingshot. It's a new program I just launched that four people just signed up for where I'm going to blow up the niche-based Facebook group for these people that don't want the burden and responsibility of blowing up a niche-based Facebook group. I do it for them. They get to fish in the group for clients every week. It's a way of, of um, attracting your audio clients over the next year. You get lots of business that way. Again, so I'm building all my products in a way that people have not done this before. I don't want to improve on what someone's done. I want to build something brand new. The reason why you need to do this for clients, for your potential clients, is you need to create curiosity. If you just bring a, an iPhone and say, I improve the iPhone by 10%, 15%, everyone already knows what an iPhone operates like. But if you come and say, I made a brand new phone no one's ever seen before, it looks different, sounds different, smells different, tastes different, feels different, all sorts of curiosity. 
comes up in their mind. I wonder what that's like. I wonder what it feels like. I wonder what it's like to use it. So day three is about creating curiosity and desire by introducing your new thing that no one's done before. What can you create or what have you already created that's brand new, that's not like so-and-so's? It's a brand new take on the thing that will solve that curiosity desire. Day four was about objections and skepticism. How do you overcome a, a, objections and skepticism? And again, there's only three types of obje objections. Vehicle, as in can your thing actually do what you say it can do? And you can't and can counter all of these by telling testimonials that strategically show that these things are taken care of. Number two objection is external. Can the person, now that they've satisfied that your thing can do what you say it can do, can they use your thing to do what you say it can do? And the last is internal. Can they use your thing to do what you say it can do with where they're at in life? So can your thing do it? Can I do it with your thing? And can I use your thing to do it with where I'm currently at without having to take a year of training or something ridiculous like that? That is day four. Day five is all about CTA, the strong call to action and scarcity. After building trust and handling objections, the last step is to point your audience towards the action step you want them to take. A clear, compelling call to action combined with scarcity can create urgency and motivate people to act. I do this with Catapult. Catapult's not going to be around forever. I'm only going to probably bring on, I was initially going to bring on launch 100 groups, but I've, I've shifted my plan since. I'm going to bring on probably two more uh, Catapult students be, in the next month, and that's it. Should I get down for the year? And then uh, I'll launch a few handfuls next next year. And then that's it. I'm moving on to the next phase of my empire. And so I do that for Catapult. It's scarcity. Can the price goes up every month or two on Catapult too, because it gets easier and easier to blow up the group. So I also do it for Slingshot. Slingshot, this is the last day people can join at the one-time payment lifetime price of 997. Tomorrow it goes to 2497. The annual is 997, and the monthly is 247 to join at $97 a month. And that gives a person lifetime access to fish in this new community. The first one's called Abundant Life Network. I'm about to blow up. I'm going to blow it up how I just did with the NTV. So my results speak for themselves. So for you, when you think of your CTA, your call to action, number one, create a clear CTA that tells your audience exactly what to do next. Make it easy for them by limiting the chances or limiting the choices or steps required. Number two, incorporate scarcity urgency, use limited time offers, exclusive bonuses, or limited availability to motivate immediate action. For Catapult, I'm only bringing on 12 founding coach spots. Four just got snapped up. If you want in on Catapult, comment Catapult. Or I, that was for Slingshot, sorry. Comment Slingshot for 12 founding coach spots. Remind them of the transformation they can achieve, achieve by taking action. Reiterate the benefits, highlights, what's at stake. If they don't take advantage of your offer, so for, and again, think for yourself, what could you say? For Catapult, for me, well, for those that have tried growing your own niche-based Facebook group or tried blowing up a movement and have not successfully done it, how many more months are you going to waste? You know you're called to something. You know you're called to create a movement. Well, Lori Phillips now has her movement four months in. How would you like to have 8,400 members and a bunch of clients and a bunch more coming in in just four months from now. Comment Catapult. For Slingshot, brand new program I'm offering. Now is the time to hop on and check check, check on it and click the link below uh, to or above to, to check out Slingshot. I'm only letting 12 founding coaches in. What can you do for scarcity and urgency? Now, depending where you're at, if you have no testimonials, then typically what I have done historically is, is I give my first students an insane offer, right? So like the early bird, the, the early bird offer, I'll give it to them for like a fifth of what others are paying. Right now, Catapult's seven grand for a six month program. When it started, it was, uh, it was five grand for a year program, 2,500 for a six month program. So it's almost tripled in price, right? But I need to collect testimonials to prove concept. If you have testimonials already in the bank, then that's different. If you need testimonials, there's all sorts of strategic ways that you can learn um, 
how to best position things to get people to buy. I'll be teaching this in my inner circle A team. For those of you that grew up watching this show like I did in the 80s, I'm launching A team. In about a month, you'll be hearing about A team. That's my inner circle. This is where I'm going to be teaching all these strategies. On everything I know, I'll be teaching you an A-team. Comment A-team if you want. I already got a list growing of five or six or seven people that want in on that. Um, launching it at 97 US a month is an insane deal. It'll be going up very quickly to 297 a month, but your price will be locked in. So what can you do to increase scarcity and urgency? Your ideal prospect has had this point likely in their life for more than a year, more than five years maybe, they need you to solution it. If you do these five things, the last thing you got to do is a strong call to action. It's not just click the link now. It's click the link now because, number one, if you don't, you're still your ass is still going to be in the same position it's been in the last six months. So what I would say is for Catapult, do you like the fact that you're called to create a movement and you're not and your Facebook group's going by like 10 people, 20 people a week, that's it? Do you like the fact that you don't have enough warm leads to pitch to? Do you like the fact that it's hard to sell your stuff on social media? Again, put your finger in the pain point, and then we'll reverse at the end to the desired outcome for Slingshot. Do you like the fact that you're not getting enough clients sold? Do you like the fact that you're only you're, you're lying awake at night, not enough revenue coming in? You're, you can't pay for your family's stuff. You're frustrated. You're doubting your calling, but you know that you're called to it. When through my Catapult or Slingshot program, you can immediately transform that in the next three to six months. Immediately, just like my other students have done. So use your CTAs, get in people's faces. You know, Clifford Starks, who just joined Slingshot, I watched a lot of his yesterday, and he said this poignantly. He said, you know what? We got to kick each other's ass a bit. Like, everyone's going around trying to be candy cane nice to people. But that's not what transforms. When I kick my own ass is when I change in life. And I bet when you pull yourself and take yourself behind the shed and give yourself a good talking to or a good spanking sometimes is when you wake the hell up and you go, I'm here for a reason. I'm here for a purpose. My days are fleeting. I say that I want to create something or sell something or change the world or change myself or cause something amazing to happen. If I do not hold myself accountable and shake myself to sanity, then I will piss the next five years away of life. I'm not here to piss life away. I don't believe you are either. So make sure you come strong at your prospects. Again, after you've done day one, two, and three, and four, it will not work if you've not done one, two, three, and four and proven, got their attention, uh, create a curiosity, proven your thing works, hit the pain points. Then when you land with the scarcity, people end up buying your stuff because they're like, you're right. You've eliminated all my my reasons why not to. And I don't want to be here in five months, especially when I see that your clients are so far down the road in four months with Catapult or with Slingshot. They're about to be. And so love your people enough to hold their feet to the fire. Yeah, do it in a loving way, but do it in a, get in their face, hold their feet to the fire. When they come to the end of their life, they're not going to be regretting, I don't believe, the risks they took. It's probably regretting the chance, the times you didn't ask the person out, you didn't take jump for the business, you didn't take the course, you didn't, you didn't go all in when you know, sure as shit, you could have. You could have transformed your life and the lives of thousand other or tens of thousands of others. If you answer your call, so think of that for your clients, for your potential clients. What is the CTA they need to hear so they know you take your stuff seriously? If you don't take your stuff serious, if I don't take my stuff seriously enough to get in people's face, then why am I why am I coaching? Why am I selling anything? If I don't come serious with it, I don't take it serious. Who's going to believe me then? I'm here to make impact. I'm not here to piss around and take my time. And I know you feel the same. So I urge you to urge them. After you've done all four, come strong with day five. They deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve to answer the call in your life, my friend. ENTV, thanks for watching. This has been day five of the cold lead client attraction. It's the best I know how to do. I'm no expert, but I'm learning. I'm probably an intermediate. 
but I'm growing and I'm on the path and I'm committed. So I will bring you more trainings. Comment please below if you've enjoyed this. I uh, would love to hear your comments below and um, happy 21 months ENTV. See you soon.